So in this question, we're provided with this quadratic equation here. Uh, negative 9 would be like our A value. 30 would be the B value. And then we have our C value here, which we don't know. The question says, in the given equation, C is a constant. The equation has exactly one solution. Okay, so there is the key. It has exactly one solution. What is the value of C? So there's a thing called the discriminant. It's a little formula that helps you determine the types of solutions you should get from quadratic equations. The discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you expect to get two distinct real solutions. If it is equal to 0, however, you expect to get exactly one solution. So this is where we want to be. And if it's less than 0, you expect to get um, two um, imaginary solutions. Okay? So that was just a little bit of review because all we really care about is this middle situation which I'll just turn that equal to zero. So we want b squared minus 4ac to equal zero. So let's try that out. Again, b is 30, so I'd have 30 squared minus 4a was negative 9, so I'll plug that in. And of course, c is what we're looking for. But we do know that we want that to be equal to zero. 30 squared is 900. Um, negative 4 times negative 9 is positive 36. So 900 plus 36, c equals 0. I can subtract 900 from both sides. And I'm left with 36c is equal to negative 900. And then from there, I can figure out what negative 900 divided by 36 is. And that would give me a negative 25. So our correct answer here is choice C.